Hello guys and welcome to another Dr. Hammer English 143 Film Festival behind the scenes shot. I'm here with Kendall, Jess, and Sam and they're going to talk to us today about their film which is centered around all we really learning and retaining <laughs> information in college and it's an expose on basically student life and you know how students learn in college. So can you guys tell me about how you guys thought to do that, do something like this and you know what went into the production of something like this? Well, I was really into the expose genre. I was really pushing for that with my group members. And then um, we kind of thought back to the things that Dr. Hammer has talked about this semester. And it kind of led us to this idea of like, are grades really meaningful in the way that they should be? Or are they arbitrary? And so we kind of went from there. I had also seen a video of a mom concerned about Holocaust education back when I was like early high school, late middle school, and she went around to some elite colleges in Pennsylvania and asked them just like very basic facts about the Holocaust that they could not remember. And so we kind of had an interest in seeing, is UNC any different? Like, are there going to be basic facts? What we think are like basic facts that UNC students might just totally not be aware of or not know. Yeah, um, I would definitely say when we were like thinking back to what we've learned in the class just overall in terms of like yes cinematography and things like that but like in terms of the greater lessons that I feel like Dr. Hammer was trying to teach us grades were always at the forefront of that and he was just like learn something like actually learn something and so this is kind of like what we've, what we've extrapolated from that um, and so I guess that's what we're trying to do in general is just teach that lesson and kind of open people's eyes up to the fact that they might be learning but they're not retaining because they're doing it for a reason that's not actually for themselves and to better themselves. Right, that's fantastic. And without giving too much of, you know, your editing or your plot away, did you, did you guys make any really big discoveries from it while you were filming and while you were producing this? Like, was there anything that stuck out like, wow, while you were like, that's crazy while you guys were in production? Yeah, I don't think there's anything so far that we've taken away from it that's astounding. I think it'll be interesting to see, it seems like now there's been a shift. Our generation conceives of college less of a time for personal development and growth in general, like learning, like less of a time to figure yourself out and your place in the world and more of a place where you've come in, you already know what you want it to be, whether it's public health, business, journalism, you enter that section of the university and that's what you do for the next four years to get a job in that sector when you come out. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if UNC students feel like they're being accosted or like insulted with these questions. Um, we've yet to see that though. Okay, so with an expose, you know, it's, I'm guessing it's going to be more informative with how it's shot and everything. Did you guys, did you guys have any like characters that you like played throughout, or is it more of a yeah? So like, could you could you elaborate on like how the characters are going to factor into the story yeah. and what they are going through? I'd love to hear about that. Yeah, so we kind of wanted to do kind of like a parody of like the um, Jimmy Kimmel oh, like segment nice where he goes segment. out on the street oh, that's and like interviews people. I already want to see this. Yeah, <laughs> and so I'm kind of taking on that character, and Sam's kind of like our Guillermo. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, I watched and, how it's just the whole films. time. This is, this oh, is yeah, amazing. Yeah, I, just, I, got, I have to see this now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, basically, Kendall and I start off as students who are studying for an exam and feel very disillusioned about the academic culture that they're placed in. And then from that, the questions about like how much do UNC students actually know, like what are their feelings and opinions on this, come up. And it kind of goes into this daydream kind of mirage of yeah. Kendall being Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, so that is fantastic. Kendall Kimmel. Kendall, Kendall Kimmel. Kimmel. Yes. Kendall Kimmel. Kendall Kimmel. Trademark it, get it on a t-shirt. Yeah. Yes. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. But like, especially with this being an expose too, excuse me, are we going to see an arc in Kendall's character throughout? Is she going to go through some change while she's learning about, you know, or, you know, not learning, but going through what you guys are shooting in the film? Like, how are we going to see that change? How are we going to see a change if there is one? Yeah. Them? I think that you're definitely going to see a change between both of the characters because the entire like idea behind it is we have to have these conversations in order to change ourselves and if no one's talking about it then no one's going to change and it's just going to be this culture that's perpetuated and not really fixed or anything because no one's talking about it. So the reason why it wasn't just like Kendall out there doing her own thing is because like the conversations need to be had so the two characters, Kendall and Sam, are talking about this. And from there, like, 
from just talking about it, they get the, I guess, urge and courage to go out and talk to other people about it. So I think that all of that put together just means that inevitably there's going to be some sort of shift either in the way the character thinks or the way they approach the academics. Um, and I think that's just an important conversation to be had, which is what we've been having all semester. Um, so that's why we really wanted to insert that into the film. Yeah, I think it largely ties into what Dr. Hammer was talking about in class one day. He delivered that impassioned speech about his coworker who wanted to get into law school and got when wanted to get into elite undergrad, got into elite undergrad, worked her ass off there, wanted to get into elite law school, did that, had to make the law review, made that, and then like finally gets in a job, they stick her in a corner office. It's kind of like largely based on that, based on pre-professionalism that we all see on campus, and really just a commentary on whether or not that's actually making people happy. I have to ask though, from a more humorous perspective, did you guys have any funny interactions with other UNC students while you guys were filming this, or was there anything that came up that made you guys chuckle or laugh? Honestly, the most fun we've been having has been like writing the jokes for like the um, beginning monologue oh, of like okay. the late That's night show awesome. and stuff like that. So we're not done filming with like people on campus, so we're definitely gonna get some interesting responses. I know that. Um, but I think like feel free to interview us too. We've been <laughs> a part of it. We, I'm oh, sure yeah, we have we'll some definitely do that. Yeah. yeah that but um, even like talking amongst, our, amongst ourselves, trying to figure out what questions to ask, like realizing some things we don't or I don't know that yeah. I should. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Because yeah. like you real you don't realize how much a part of the culture you are until like you actually sit there and think about it. So it's forcing us to do some work too, um, which is just interesting in and of itself because it's kind of like it's very meta. <laughs> While you're doing it, you're like, oh gosh, like this right. is real. Oh, yeah, goodness. and then you're just like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> and like, doing it. I'm a senior, Kendall's a senior, oh, and we're just man. like, <clears throat> yeah, we have, yeah. <laughs> when I said London was in France. Yeah. Oh, 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 please oh, tell me, that please that tell me happen. we get that blooper. London <laughs> was in France. Me. This, unfortunately, we do not, because this was just during a conversation for a script writing. Oh, but man. Um, it was. We, yeah, Sam and I were quite... <laughs> we've we've all been, we, it's been a learning process it's for everyone. Sorry. <laughs> geography's important. Oh, yeah, geography is, that's the main takeaway from yes, this entire Geography's movie. important. Geography is important. All right, well, last question, guys, and I do appreciate your time, but, you know, we've learned a lot in Dr. Hammer's class this year about trying to understand, you know, what doesn't necessarily, what doesn't, what, you know, what makes a good film going into that. And that doesn't necessarily mean the film has a good ending, but it means it has the theatrical arcs throughout the film that make it important. And I just want to ask you guys, what did you learn? What, did, what have you learned from Hammer's class that you know you took into this and was really helpful making your own production? I mean, making this film, I think, really showed us. Definitely showed me it's so much harder than you think it's going to be. I mean, like we can watch these films, we can see what they're trying to get at, we can make comments about them, write our film reviews. But once you actually have to do it, I mean, that is a process. Yeah. Screenwriting was definitely something that was far more difficult than I expected. Yeah, we were like, are we achieving like what we actually want to achieve? Like even before this interview, we were like, okay, like we know what we're doing, right? Like we we're like just continuously talking it out because you need to make sure all of all of that translates, and it's really difficult to make sure that that is the case because a lot of things can be in your head but not end up in the film, yeah, and it's hard. necessary that they end up in the film so that people actually understand what's going on. And I think another thing that our film does really well is just have those illusions that hopefully classmates will pick up on just from films we've watched, short, uh, short films we've watched. Um, so hopefully I think that will kind of, I guess, like pick up the baton and take it where we need to go for the most part. Um, just because we do know what our other classmates have watched this year and what the comments have been throughout class discussions. So we're trying to tie in that as much as possible. Too. Fantastic. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank this has you. Been fantastic. And another English 143 interview out of the way. Can't wait to see these guys film, especially with the Jimmy Kimmel aspect of it. It's going to be very funny, and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, thank you guys, and uh, thank tune you. into the next one.